सो नाउ वी विल लुक इन टू द इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ वॉटरशेड मैनेजमेंट सो हियर आई हैव लिस्टेड द इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रिंसिपल्स लाइक यूटिलाइजेस यूटिलाइजिंग लैंड अकॉर्डिंग टू कैपेबिलिटी मीन्स वॉट एवर द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द लैंड अकॉर्डिंग टू इट्स Um, accordingly, the usage should be made uh, within the watershed um, without uh, putting any additional burden. Uh, it should be appropriately managed. <coughs> Then next is uh, main to maintain the adequate vegetative cover uh, for control of uh, soil erosion. Uh, soil erosion is one of the uh, major issues uh, we now face in various regions, such as uh, Kokan region in Maharashtra. Uh, during the monsoon season uh, and uh, on the uh, steep slopes of sayadri uh, region uh, the soil uh, gets eroded uh, because of various reasons like uh, the forest has, forest cover has been reduced uh, then uh, urbanization is uh, increasing uh, so there are many issues but uh, so it is necessary that uh, we have to maintain adequate vegetative cover so that the uh, soil erosion problem can be uh, uh, can be controlled <coughs> next is uh, to conserve maximum possible uh, rain water at places where it falls uh, so as we all are aware that uh, whatever the monsoon we are receiving uh, out of uh, the entire annual average uh, precipitation precipitation uh, for very few days or very few months we receive the rainfall uh, and uh, the precipitation is the very uh, important and major source of fresh water uh, that we use uh, that we consume for drinking as well as for irrigation purpose so it is essential uh, in the watershed management that we should adopt practices that will uh, conserve maximum uh, of rain water that is available within the uh, uh, watershed that we are going to study uh, so within the watershed whatever the rainfall is falling it should be maximum water should be conserved so there are different practices uh, even in the agriculture practices like uh, contour terracing uh, contour terrace uh, uh, farming can be done so that the runoff can be reduced Uh, and uh, the infiltration rates can uh, rate can be maximum can be achieved next <coughs> uh, point is to uh, to have a drainages uh, of uh, for excess water and store it for uh, future uh, use so uh, draining out of excess water with safe velocity Uh, is essential so that uh, we can avoid the soil erosion on one hand and also we can store it uh, storage uh, the uh, um, uh, the um, the excess water uh, uh, in some ponds uh, for future use <coughs> uh, so that we can use uh, this water whenever there is a scarcity whenever there is a need uh, so on one hand we can prevent the erosion but also on the other hand we can Uh, uh uh we can we can uh, we can have the water for uh, uh, whenever it is needed <coughs> uh, then uh, to next point is preventing erosion and to increase uh, ground water uh, recharge so uh, prevention control measures can be adopted in, within the watershed Uh, that will reduce the runoff uh, rate that will reduce the velocity of uh, water uh, which is responsible for uh, soil erosion uh, and at the same time once we uh, reduce the velocity we are allowing the water uh, for infiltration that is for ground water recharge so <coughs> recharge in the ground water system will be improved by having uh, better management practices and uh, uh, availability of ground water can be uh, increased or improved uh, so uh, and uh, finally uh, the overall management of the available resources uh, in a sustainable way so uh, it is very important aspect um, and a very most important principle of watershed management uh, so various resources like land 
water, uh, then forest, uh, minerals, uh, whatever the uh, resources which are avail available within the watershed um, uh, need to be uh, considered, uh, need to be uh, managed so that uh, the, we will achieve a sustainability. Um, so, these are some of the important principles of uh, watershed management. Uh, now, here today uh, after discussing different points of um, introduction related to concepts of watershed and watershed management, uh, today we have covered uh, the basic concept of uh, watershed, then we have discussed about uh, what are the characteristics of important characteristics of uh, watershed, then what is watershed management and what are the approaches of watershed and uh, finally, we uh, talked about the principles of watershed management. So, here uh, ends our uh, today's session uh, and in the next session, we will discuss about the remaining part of this unit. Thank you.